guys, Mrs. Sizemore here. I hope you guys are doing well at home. Um, today we're gonna do a lesson, and since we're not in the classroom with all our fun art supplies, we're gonna have to get creative and use supplies we have at home. So, for this lesson, you're gonna need a pencil, a pen, any kind of ballpoint pen will work, and a piece of binder paper, and that's it. Let's get started. Okay, so today we will be drawing this little guy. He's kind of an optical illusion, which means he's a little bit three-dimensional. As we start to draw, what we're gonna do is draw only on every other line. So it's gonna look like he's looking through some kind of blinds or shutters. So see how here I'm drawing his hair and I make sure I'm staying in between two of the blue binder paper lines. Then I skip one and I go down to the next one where I'm gonna put his ears, okay? So make sure you're lining it up with his hairline so it looks like it's continuing through. Next, I will be drawing his eyes. Now the eyes are gonna be kind of in the middle, they're cartoon eyes, and we're gonna have them looking off to the side. So make sure the black pupil part of the eye is both going the same direction in both eyes. And you can make his eyebrows however you want. Maybe he's looking surprised, maybe he's looking mad. That all will show in the eyebrows, okay? So as we start these hands, these are actually gonna overlap one of the blue lines. So it looks like he's kind of clinging on to the blinds here that he's peeking over. So we're gonna start on the layer of his ears and his eyes, and then you're gonna go on top of the one above. All right, so now just keep on drawing. Have fun with it. Um, watch what I do. If you need to stop, and pause and finish or go back and rewind, that's perfectly fine. So keep on going, make sure you're lining up with the layer above and make sure you're skipping all of those in between blinds that he's peeking through. Okay, have fun with it. All right, now we're gonna start our shading part. This is the part that's gonna make it look three-dimensional. So right underneath every layer that looks like a blind, you're gonna take your pencil and you're just gonna start shading right under that blue line. Make sure you get it very light at first because you can always go back and darken it up. Um, right under the blue line should be dark and then it should fade out to be a little bit lighter. Now, you're not doing any dark lines here. This is shading. So we want it to just be very subtle and make sure it's only looking like the shadow. So you're not doing it on top of any layers. It's just where the blinds would be showing a shadow. All right, now here's my challenge for you. You get to create a surface that your little guy is standing on. So using the same idea, making sure that every little movement 
is in between the blinds. So make sure you're not drawing on top of the blinds and you're on the same layers as this little guy is, okay? I'm gonna be doing a ladder. All right, you can choose to do anything you want. Maybe he's on a mountain, maybe he's on his bed, maybe he's just standing on the ground. I want you to try to add some details using the same way we did this little guy. Try to be creative, try to have fun with it. It might not turn out perfect, but when we do art, we're just practicing. So it's a good way to practice. So have fun with it. Use pencils so you can go back and erase whatever you are doing um, if you're not happy with it. And then you can always go back on top of it with pen and don't forget your shadows because that's what's really gonna bring out your surface. All right, great job. Take pictures and send them. I can't wait to see what you do.